Hello everyone, this is Caitlin from Caitlin's Family Farmstead. Um, I am here for the Great Canadian Seed Challenge. Um, thank you Hickory Croft for organizing this. And I'm a latecomer, but I am happy to join in. Um, I guess I'm gonna first start off with uh, letting you guys know who I am, um, a bit about my background. So I live on an organic dairy farm in Ontario, Canada. Um, I guess I kind of fell into being a homesteader. That's why I call myself a farmstead because I was a farmer first and uh, homesteader naturally, I guess you could say. And then, um, so what happened was is we moved down to this farm. Um, it was my in-laws farm. And then I just naturally wanted to do things. I wanted to have a garden. I wanted to have some animals. Um, being from the Mennonite heritage, um, I had my grandma come over and she taught me how to can and preserve some foods and I kind of just, and then even some sewing, I'm not, I kind of uh, can do a lot but not a master of anything, so <laughs> it's, it's okay I guess. Um, so yeah, I really just kind of fell into being a homesteader, I just, the more I did, the more I wanted to do, the more I learned, the more I wanted to learn. Um, so it's kind of funny, I went from having like very small garden to my garden's quite large and my grandma taught me a little bit of canning, basically jams and relishes and I kind of, I can pretty much so can whatever you have for me. Um, I am now into pressure canning and dehydrating and fermenting and freezing and I, we do quite a bit of our own food. Um, and then my sister was like, wow, you really are part of this like homesteading movement. And I was like, I don't know, what is a homesteader? <laughs> so then I started YouTubing homesteaders and I kind of got addicted to watching YouTubers because, um, I mean, it's what I do, it's what I did and didn't even really realize I was part of a movement, which is awesome, I think that's great. Um, we need more people out there uh, being good stewards to the land. So anyways, um, it's maybe a little low, but right now I'm in the middle of getting my eggs ready to go. I'm uh, sorting them. And uh, as I was sitting here, I'm like, I can quick make this little video for the seed challenge. And so basically, I've already placed my order for my seeds, so I actually really don't need too many seeds. But my goals this year, I'm gonna go about this um, this way, I guess. My goals this year for my gardening are always can the products that I do every year, so I'm not gonna take any of those off the list unless they're things that I realize we don't really actually eat. Um, but I need to be become more efficient in some areas, is that's kind of, I think, the direction I want to go. Um, so I won't take off any of the list of the canning items I do, or my freezing items that I do, or my fermenting items I do, or my dehydrating items I do, but I would like to add cold storage items to the list. Yes, I've already used potatoes. Um, I ha I've tried, and I do a very small amount of sweet potatoes. I do some onions. That's always a struggle for me. I almost never can get enough onions in the ground and for cold storage. Um, my, uh, my brother did a market garden this year and he was able to grow a ton of onions so I bought I think a half a bushel of onions off of him and hopefully that will, with his and mine, stay in us for the, for the next couple months. I might have to chop some and freeze them so that I have them because they're going to start sprouting. But anyways, um, so things that I'm looking at is I did do a small patch of squashes this year, so, but I have, it's middle of January and I don't know if there's better varieties out there, but a lot of mine have molded. Um, and I have them, I, the ones that I do have, I have them stored in all different ways. Just because I was going to see which way is the best. Well, None of them, apparently, or it's the squash. So that's one that I need to focus on for my family. And then the second, the, the thing that I have never grown, and I want to add this to my repertoire of 
rowing for my uh, root cellar um, storage is parsnips. Um, I think that would be really good. I can roast them or use them as potatoes or whatever. Uh, so that is the one and only seed and I already placed my seed order like I said. So I didn't order them because I just thought of that a few days ago after I did it. I mean, so if anybody wants to bless me that way, that would be great. If not, I mean, I can go buy a pack of parsnip seeds too. But anyways, I hope to more in this challenge be a blessing to others. I'm going to look through some of these videos that are being put out and um, see what I have. I have a good amount of seeds stored away. I tried to make sure I have a nice supply and variety so I uh, can whimsically sometimes change my mind and add things to my garden when there's a little corner. So anyways, um, I hope to be a blessing to some other people. Um, that would be really awesome. And thank you so much for letting me join the Canadian Seed Challenge of 2022.